that's passed in JavaScript. So what does that mean? Assume I have an array, something like this, this is an empty array, then I can store. So how does JavaScript processes this? So it allocates only two memory blocks for 0th index and 9th index and it will store the values. If I try to check the length, length will be 100. But we, we, we said it will, it will have only two blocks, but that is not the case, right? If I see the length, how does this will help? So let us also try to see the for each loop, for each loop, how many times it executes. So uh, what I will do, I will have a counter and I will try to, I will simply log my counter, okay? So if you see how many times this loop should execute, 100 times, right? But if you see the counter, it will only incremented for two times. What does that mean? This for each loop has executed for only two times. Two times means we have only two elements available in our array. So it has executed only for those two available items. So for the remaining unavailable items, it will ignore the loop. This happens for for each filter and some other array options that are available. So to learn more on arrays, there's a link. Uh, you can go through that and you can learn more. And also for such interesting videos, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.